everyone, welcome back to Andy Demos. You just heard two new modes in the new MXR Tremolo. There's actually six of them, along with stereo operation and a whole lot more. So let's get into it. The MXR Tremolo is a collection of six classic tremolo styles, from swinging bias to syrupy harmonic, all the way to hard chopped square wave. Building on the foundation of their M159 stereo panning tremolo, the new M305 offers true stereo or mono in every mode with simple rate and depth controls, plus a gain to overcome any perceived volume drop. The simple and intuitive layout is similar to the MXR Reverb, with a multifunction knob up top. Powerful expression pedal control lets you adjust any parameter for ramping effects, expressive depth, or even volume swells. Plus, you could sync up with your music with the tap tempo input, or dive into envelope mode, which constantly alters the rate based on your picking dynamics and the signal strength of other pedals. Plus, the M305 stereo tremolo can be set up for true bypass or buffered for easy integration with your rig. I definitely want to show you those stereo tremolo sounds and some envelope trim, but let's just start with the basics and cycle through all six tremolo modes. Let's try the bias trim, which is notorious for having sort of a, a wobbly sound, perfect for that Bo Diddley beat. Here's the two different optical modes, and optical is pretty much your standard tremolo sound from the 60s and 70s, especially in Fender amplifiers. I'll start with reverse optical, which really exaggerates the peaks and valleys of the waveform. <laughs> Thank you. 
Here's the square mode, which is very much off and on. So if you have a slow setting, it's best to back off on the depth, otherwise you won't hear half the stuff you're playing. And here's harmonic, which I also showed you in the beginning of the video. It has sort of a phasey quality to it, so it sounds really great with some drive in front of it. Let's check out the envelope mode, and this is accessed just by selecting your type of tremolo and then holding down the gain knob for three seconds. And you have all kinds of control, whether you want to set a minimum or maximum speed, your overall depth, and also the input sensitivity, which is really helpful if you want to, say, adjust it to different kinds of pickups, or if you have a high output overdrive, in this case, going into the tremolo. <laughs> So let's set the minimum speed by just raising the speed control. And since it's already responding with a very fast speed on this bridge pickup, let me just back off on the threshold because I'm going to hit it hard with this FOD. Thank <laughs> you. 
And here's the stereo sounds at last. So put on those headphones or plug into some good speakers. I'm using the control output and I've set that little switch to audio so I could just use that jack to go straight to another amplifier. Let's try those swirling sounds of the harmonic trim in stereo set to a very slow speed. And when you think about it, there's actually three ways to control the speed of this tremolo remotely. The expression pedal, the envelope mode, and tap tempo. And this is what we're going to check out now. With tap tempo, you actually tap for every cycle, so it's best for those slow or medium speeds. And I find it really helps with those choppier square waves to really sync up with the song you're playing. <laughs>
With an expression pedal plugged in, it opens up so many different possibilities, not just with speed and depth, but with the output of the pedal. And since it goes all the way to zero, you could actually set it up as a volume swell or a volume swell with tremolo. Well, there you have it, a very versatile and expressive tremolo from MXR. You can find out all about it at jimdunlop.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you for another Andy demo.